Welcome back for another book review. Today we are talking about this one. So this is Wicca, What's the Real Deal? Breaking Through the Misconceptions, and it has three authors. So we have, and I think it's pronounced Diana, it's just spelled a little differently, Winters, Patricia Gardner, and Angelica, or Angela, I don't know where Angelica came from, Angela Kaufman? Could be butchering names. So this is a relatively small book, not too big. I read it in an afternoon, as I do with most books, but this I just read while I was waiting for my husband to get off work. He had like an hour or two of overtime, so I just finished the book. So the way this one is set up, it is basically a Q&A throughout the entire thing. And it focuses on different areas of like different questions, but really it seemed to have a very specific audience in mind. And like, while it could be helpful, it does feel like it is really honed in on that specific audience. So this is the book that like, Honestly, if you have a lot of missionaries that come to your door, you could just like hand them this <laughs> or kind of memorize this book and like the responses to be prepared because this is really the book specifically of like the debate between the witches, pagans, and Wiccans because really there's so much of an overlap overall that like regardless of which label you use, most of this is going to apply regardless and the Christians. And again, doesn't matter which denomination, pretty much all of them are gonna have the same vibe, just as we're gonna have kind of the same vibe. Little differences here and there, but for the most part, that, that Venn diagram is almost a circle on both of them when it comes to the topics brought up in this book. So this one really goes over all of the questions and concerns and snarky little things you'll hear from the Christians mostly. Again, I have yet to ever experience like a Hindu or um, a Muslim or a Jew or any of like the Eastern religions like Buddhism, um, wasn't it like Taoism? Like there's a lot, there's a lot out there. The only ones I've ever had anyone have any kind of snark and like attitude comes from the Christians. And again, doesn't matter your denomination. They just, they just act super entitled. And so, they always have these really smart ass comments and this book helps you to answer those questions. Because a lot of times they're not like, I don't know, sometimes they don't feel genuine, sometimes they feel like they're just kind of making fun of you, but sometimes they could be genuine and like you just answer them very bluntly with stuff. This one did come out right around the time that I was first becoming a witch, which is like super fun. So it came out in, I think it was like, what was it, 2011? So I was just a wee little witch a couple years in. And so this book, like it does kind of reflect that time a little bit. Cause it was like right after we finally got the legalization to put like the pentacle on like soldiers graves and to have that as like one of the recognized religions in the military, which is like ridiculous. It took so long and so much effort, but we finally got there. But overall this book really just kind of focuses on witchcraft and Christianity going head to head. And I guess like Wiccan witchcraft, because again, it's not for everybody. It's not that Venn diagram does exist, but for the most part, it's almost a circle. And those little minute details in the context of that conversation aren't going to matter. Because again, it's, it's just like, we'll just use like an example here of like, okay, sometimes they're questions, sometimes they're myths, but like, Wiccans raise the dead in necromatic rites. Truth. Most Wiccans believe the spirit world is not beyond the reach of the living, but while communicating with the dead, they do not seek to raise the body of the deceased physically. And also there could be the total argument, at least here in Utah, for that discussion of baptizing the dead. That's the thing here. It's fucking creepy in my opinion. I don't think we should be messing with the dead in that way. Like the amount of like Holocaust victims they have done that to is sickening like it's one of my biggest icks let all, like there's I have a lot of qualms growing up around the LDS but never joining the cult <laughs> that is them because it's it's creepy if you if you find out about some of the things and you're like yeah but mine's the weird one where I just I go out and I look at the moon and I believe that the moon helps me so, yep that's that's the weirder one of the two yep sure yeah 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 like Nothing against Christians and the Mormons, but just, it's an ick for me. But anyways, most of this book is just those kinds of things where you've got a lot of either questions or I guess maybe it is myth versus truth, but sometimes they kind of come across as like, 
If you are a real witch, you can use magic, then your life should be perfect. Truth. No one, no one should assume that any living thing could live a perfect life. Which is, like, accurate. And then it goes into, like, a full explanation, but it has, like, a brief answer, too, which is kind of nice. But really, just, like, overall, this is just a good book if you have to have that conversation a lot. I would think if you lived... Again, like here in Utah, it might be a handy tool if you're not used to answering those questions and you're not really prepared. Personally, I have varying answers depending on the person. Because, like, if you're a missionary, I'm going to ask you, do you know what a witch or a pagan or a Wiccan is? And if you don't, we're not having a conversation. I don't think you should be preaching your religion very loudly and bothering people if you don't know other people's religions. And, like, if they're not open to having that discussion. Because, like, I don't, I don't care. And if that's the case... Bye! Because, like, I'll happily teach you about my thing. I know about yours. And, like, it's kind of fun to mess with them sometimes. But, like, for the most part, like, when I've had bosses ask me, I have very specific answers of how much I will explain. And, like, over time, I will explain more details. But for the most part, they want a quick answer, and that's the end of the discussion, which is fine. But, like, if you're not used to that, or if you live in, like, the Bible Belt, where, like, that's going to be a really, really, really often conversation, this might give you a lot of answers and quick answers to help you, like, formulate how you would respond with, like, a little more clarity. So anyways, overall, I would highly recommend this if this is something that you're going to need a lot. Otherwise, I don't know that you really need this book. I think it is really aimed towards, like, when the Christians are coming after you and being like, but this is, like, your quick answer guide of, like, here you go. Here's... Here's your things, because it talks about just about everything, just kind of briefly, but again, if you're having those debates, this is a good book to grab. So anyways, I would love to hear your thoughts on this one in the comments down below. Huge thank you to my patrons, I'll have their names here on the screen if you'd like to support me and get access to exclusive content, it is patreon.com slash nightwillowcrafts. Make sure to check out my blog, I will soon be having links to my book that's coming out in about a month if you want to, you know, have that saved and ready. I don't have a pre-order, but like I will continue to nag you that it is coming soon. Very soon I will be getting my proofs if I haven't already. I don't know when you're seeing this video. I'm recording this very early July, so like at some point I will have gotten my proofs and my book will be coming soon, so keep an eye out for it. Until next time, thank you so much for watching and blessed be.